to let Terraform log into our Google Cloud project, we're going to create a service account for Terraform to use to identify itself and authenticate into Google Cloud. To get started in the console, we click the three bar menu, go to Identity and Access Management and Admin, and then Service Accounts. Click on Create Service Account, give the service account a name with lowercase letters and hyphens, something meaningful like, say, Terraform SA. And then you also want to give the service account some kind of a description. Account used by Terraform to authenticate to GCP. Next step, we're going to hit Create and Continue and give the service account permissions. At most, we would give it Editor. Certainly, less permissions is better. Terraform may need to access a lot of resources. So at the very most, you could give it the basic editor permissions, which is essentially an administrator. Hit continue. We don't need to do the third step for Terraform. So we're going to skip that and just hit done. And now we have the Terraform SA service account. To let Terraform log in as this identity, we're going to grab the keys for this account. So we click on Terraform SA account, click on the keys tab, add key and create new key. Use the JSON format and then click create to create the key. You'll notice the key is downloaded to your machine. This example we're going to use an Ubuntu development machine, but the process holds for any computer really. We're going to have some kind of a folder that we keep the uh, credentials in. I've created a folder called .creds, and it's got some other keys in it. And this should be kmod 700. So if you do kmod 700 and then the folder name, that will give you permissions, but nobody else permissions to the folder. Then we want to go into this folder, and then inside this folder, we're going to make a new file. This is going to be our GCP Terraform service account. Remember, it's a JSON file. And this is where you'll put the contents into the file and save the file. And then change the permissions on the file so that you're the only one that can read or write it. So in this case, we're going to do kmod 600, the name of the file. So now we have the key inside of the file on the development machine, and we just need to tell Terraform to use it. So you go to your project, whatever that may be, and you want to go into your either variables.tf file if you're going to use variables, or just go into the provider.tf file if you're just going to hard code it into the provider. But we need to know this path that we just saved the key to. So as an example, I'm going to go into my Matilda Terraform project and show you a couple of different ways to do it. So one way to do it is using variables. If I look inside of the variables file, I can find the line where I have the service account key path, and I can change that. So in my variables file here, I keep the key path where it's pretty, pretty easy to find right at the top, it says Terraform credentials file, and then you have to put the path to the file there. So going back over, we put the file in the .creds directory, and we called it the GCP Terraform service account key. I'm going to copy that. And this is going to vary depending on your directory, but in my case, it's going to be home Jeremy, and then 
Like I said, I did the .creds file and then the name of the file. So this variable Terraform credentials file is going to get picked up by the project because it'll read the variables file. And in my case, that looks like the following, where it picks it up from this line here. So that var.terraformer credentials file is coming straight from the variables.tf file, and then it uses the file command in Terraform to read the content of the file instead of taking the name of the file literally. So that's one way to do it. But another way to do it, if you just wanted to make it really easy for a first time project, is in your provider.tf file, under your Google provider, just literally put the name of the file in here. So in our example, it was going to be home and then jeremy.creds and TCP Terraform service account key got JSON. And that would work just fine as well. In this case, I'm also using the Google Bay provider, so I would have to replicate that exact line down here. And that'll give Terraform access to the file that's stored on my development machine. Inside of that file is the keys that we created when we created the service account. So now Terraform will be able to log into the service account. 